can't believe I did this. I can't believe I did this! <laughs> Mother would be so furious. That's okay. I mean, what she doesn't know won't kill her, right? Oh my gosh. This would kill her. This is so fun! I am a horrible daughter. I'm going back. I am never going back! <laughs> I am a despicable human being. Welcome guys, I just wanted to play that little clip because it really made me think of what I've been doing the last two weeks and just the fact that this recent moon in Canfer has kind of re-emphasized for me what is important and what is valuable and you know it just like it made me think about these videos and what I'm doing and like feeling bad about my mom and things like that and at the same time asking myself like is it worth it like what is it that I crave in this individuation separation of myself or is it like going to kind of like take me you know those all the kind of things that I've been wondering in the past couple of videos and it's just been significant that you know the realizations come in the ebbs and flows As a matter of teaching you to not lose perspective that it's kind of always been around you you know and uh, you know like me for example I haven't spoken to my mom in about two weeks and we recently just started speaking again briefly only because she had a pinched nerve ending in her neck and she was she had to go to hospital and because she fainted and uh, ever since I guess my Pisces placements just kind of like took over and put aside whatever our quarrel was and tried to just step up for whatever she needed but at the same time I was aware of like I don't want to fall into like an unhealthy pattern or enable anything again or uh, digress or regress I would say and I know this is a give and take and you know you shouldn't be so hard on your mom but at the same time I have to I have to kind of like see who I will be without her right I need to see who I will be as a separate entity and you know I've learned that it's not about needing to kill her or needing to like cut her off you know but it's basically about learning what the values are that she taught me and what were her values and what was the values that I made out of the teaching you know that weren't necessarily my values but what I've grown to know as myself, you know, and um, honoring the fact that she could be an example for me to separate from as much as she was something that I wanted to be enveloped by and merged with and unconditionally loved by and express love to, you know, the fact that there was the Venus in Cancer process for me that the five organized principles of organized complexity spoke about so it's a calibrating of a value system it's learning what feels good to you and 
what is really yours and where do you begin and and end you know it's it's very much about that cancerian shell and learning the path of least resistance towards cultivating that shell and what comes out of it is a process that allows you to have a shell but be able to wax and wane and grow and glow the way an exoskeletus creature can like grow with that shell and then discard it when necessary and grow a new shell to the dimensions of the new bodily needs you know and uh, yeah tune makes me think of pearls it makes me think of the world is your oyster in the six 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 of that month um there's just a lot of things where I had to be like, are you good? Are you really good? Do you want to be good? Are you aspiring towards something that isn't inherently inside of you, right? And um, because I had a mom that I felt was really inherently good, even if I disagreed with her choices and stuff, like, I just couldn't see her as... A model so it's a lot I think to do with like the fact that the Venus is ninth to my Scorpio moon and just the wisdom that I get from the feminine and learning what the feminine had to be strong to deal with in a feminine way um, gracefully and and receptively right like there was just a lot that taught me about how that flowered my own consciousness my own desire my own pleasure seeking principle my own values my own tastes my own discriminatory faculty um because it was sort of like a a birthing point for my desire and um And I just, I have to be honest kind of about the fact that it isn't my desire to hurt my mom, but it is my desire to hurt her in the necessary ways that she would need to open up to me or open up to the truth that I wanted to see you know, because even if she still makes her choice and still does what she does and I don't agree with it, at the very least I can have a relationship with her in which I can be completely myself and not merged with the idea of what she wants me to be because I was just this merging mirror image all my life that learn to be the yin to a yang and we just knew each other so well and now it's like this there are these things that she expects of me that goes against my grain because i'm like i have now learned something in relation to like how that forms part of like this pattern that if i don't kind of like uh stop it in its micro aggressive stage then like it's just going to be something that like I'm eventually going to like explode about so it's just been kind of calibrating saying no saying I don't want to saying that is not for me or I don't want to hear this or um you know like learning to walk away and things like that and not be so enmeshed and not feel so guilty for like feeling like I leave it to her own devices whenever she comes to me with like 
a only you can help me right now type of like drama you know um i'm trying to like have more of a emotional detachment from like how those triggers because i've tried to speak to her about it i've tried to like articulate how i feel about these uh riling up of somebody or just like being dramatic for reasons that it's it's like it becomes this unsuitable means for expressing what could have otherwise been a non-triggering way of expressing yourself you know um so it's just kind of like me recognizing by virtue of the fact that i felt manipulated by certain behaviors that i now have to call her out on those exact same behaviors and uh, inevitably it just becomes a mirroring process of oh but don't you do it too and i'm like yes i do it but where do i learn to do it or why do i do it because it's because it becomes a functional way of the path of least resistance venus and cancer harmony to this cesspool of a dysfunctional pattern so if you want to call me out for lying or for being manipulative or for being clinging or for being all of these negative shadow sides um did you allow me to properly separate were you not emotionally incestuous with me were you not devouring you know what i mean so just because that is now my vocabulary and i have to learn to temper that to the point of it is what i want to call it when i want to call a spade a spade when i have these conversations with her or with you guys or with anybody just about what the real real ashlesha of my experience was but all the responsibility of she doesn't want to hear it like that she can't take that that is what i would call it or she wants to see me put rose colored glasses on the story so that it's this more palatable thing and i'm just like i can do that i can see all this poetry and wisdom and this and that but like if these things are happening every time you have to ask yourself like are you addicted to the abuse are you addicted to being a victim and are you addicted to that status of i can change him or i can survive this or i can weather these storms i don't break like i i'm asking myself these things because when i grew up you know it just became like more and more questionable but when you're young you just like you don't question anything it, what happened happened and you just tried to love everybody through it and wanted everybody to be you know back in love and at peace and every time you just hope it's the last time but then it's not so the mula uprooting of this venus in cancer comfort zone of internalization of all these rhythms and ebbs and flows I had to come to a point where I'm like okay but like how does that serve my vision for myself because I can internalize it and I can and what's going to grow out of it is just going to be like what I internalize no matter how beautifully I arrange it it's still not going to take away from the fact that it is going to be something toxic or it's a comfort zone that's holding me back even if it's my beautiful home and all these memories and people that are associated to making that what it means for me